Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than I miss Junior's Cheesecake in New York. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. We just got back from New York Comic Con, and it was a wild and crazy week. During the con, we caught up with comic book creators like Tom King, Josh Williamson, Greg Pak, and others. We also talked to Sideshow about their latest collectibles, and covered the big panels from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. But as always, our favorite part of the entire con was getting to meet and talk with many of you guys over the four-day event. So thanks a ton to all of you who stopped to say hello and show us some love. We love you guys right back. However, we also want to give a big thanks to all of you guys who weren't at the con but followed along on the interwebs. It was a freaking blast and we'll have a New York Comic Con highlights episode and a bunch of additional content for you guys over the next few days. But today, my Comic Con rads, we're returning to Villains Month with one of our favorite and most popular groups of villains, the top 10 villains in Spider-Man's rogues gallery. The long list of known Spider-Man villains is second to probably only Batman's rogues gallery. Over the years, Spidey has faced some of the most entertaining and memorable baddies comics has to offer. Not to mention the massive role that their stories have played in comics. So while our list is at least partially subjective, we did our best to factor in each villain's history and overall impact on Spider-Man as a character in the Marvel Universe as a whole. But enough with the chit chat, let's get to it. First on our list at number 10 is Electro. Maxwell Dillon, mostly known as Electro, has been a thorn in the webhead side since he made his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man issue 9 in 1964. After this once electrical engineer was struck by lightning, he was transformed into a human superconductor of sorts, capable of producing up to a million volts of electricity from his body. This makes him a formidable foe for not only Spider-Man, but almost anyone really. Also, as time has gone on and Electro has aged, his power has become more unstable, making him that much more dangerous. Electro is also a founding member of the Sinister Six, and over the years has been part of a few other teams as well. He also made his big screen debut in 2014's Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I think we're all still trying to erase that nightmare from our memories. Number 9 on our list is one of Spider-Man's original villains, and now a familiar face thanks to this year's Spider-Man Homecoming movie. That of course would be Adrian Toomes, aka Vulture. Despite being up there in age, Vulture is another founding member of the Sinister Six, and a serious threat to Spidey due to his intelligence and high-tech flight suit that also gives him enhanced strength. Vulture has had some intense fights with Spidey over the years, and is also one of the few villains to have discovered Spider-Man's true identity which only makes him a greater threat to Peter. But it's Michael Keaton's amazing portrayal of the character in Homecoming that really proved this villain deserves some spotlight. Coming in at number 8 is Scorpion. There have actually been several incarnations of the character, but the most popular and well-known is Mac Gargan. Gargan was originally hired by J. Jonah Jameson to investigate how Peter Parker always has high-quality photos of the web-slinger, but after failing to do so, he's convinced to take part in a procedure that would bond him to an armored suit and make him a weapon against Spider-Man. The procedure succeeded, giving Gargan scorpion-like powers, but also comes with an unfortunate side effect of insanity. And Scorpion has turned his vicious and violent revenge on Spidey ever since. Matt Gargan was also the temporary host for the Venom symbiote in recent years after Eddie Brock attempted suicide. But once the two separated, Gargan returned to tormenting Spider-Man as Scorpion. Landing at number 7 is Hobgoblin. Many people think of Hobgoblin as just a ripoff of the Green Goblin. But the truth is that Hobgoblin is actually one of Spider-Man's most successful villains and has more incarnations than old Greeny. From the first time he appeared in 1983 after Green Goblin's death, Hobgoblin immediately started making the Web Slinger's life miserable with his own versions of weaponized gliders and pumpkin bombs. And while several characters have donned the mantle of the Hobgoblin, with the most notable being Roderick Kingsley, the original identity of this orange demon was one of the longest running mysteries in comic history and made for an iconic story arc. Number six on our list would be the lizard. Kurt Connors was a genetic biologist who made the classic mistake of trying his experiments on himself in the hope of regenerating his amputated right arm. Not surprisingly, this turned him into a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type character, cursed with random and uncontrollable transformations into a powerful and violent lizard monster. Lizard makes for one of Spider-Man's most compelling villains because Connors actually has close ties with Peter Parker and doesn't want to be a monster. It's only his alter ego who does harm, which makes him one of the toughest enemies the wall crawler has ever had to face. Number 5 is one of Spider-Man's longest running arch enemies, Sergei Kravenov, aka Kraven the Hunter. This baddie has appeared in several issues over the years, but the biggest factor for his spot on this list is wrapped up in one six part story called Kraven's Last Hunt. I don't need to go too deep into it because it's one of the most iconic comic book stories of all time, but in summary, Kraven hunts Spider-Man, nearly kills him, and buries him alive. Just because he can. Bottom line, Kraven is a rare combination of intelligence and full on crazy, not to mention one of the few villains who can claim to have really almost killed Spider-Man. 
Taking the number 4 spot is a villain some might think is just a daredevil enemy, but they'd be wrong. I'm talking about the massive crime lord, Kingpin. Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, first appeared as a Spider-Man villain in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 50 in 1967 and over the years, he has become one of the most formidable and powerful supervillains in all of New York. Kingpin doesn't have any superpowers, but he manages to wield his intense control of the criminal underworld using his intelligence and his massive, physically intimidating frame. In fact, when Spider-Man retired in the Spider-Man No More storyline, Kingpin increased crime in New York so much that Spider-Man had to don the red and blue once again just to put a stop to it. I mean, the simple fact that Kingpin is an arch enemy to two of Marvel's biggest heroes is a statement to itself. He's a bad dude. off the big three is the insane symbiote himself, Venom. The alien symbiote first appeared in 1984, but it wasn't until he bonded with Eddie Brock in The Amazing Spider-Man 300 in 1988 that it took the name Venom, and solidified itself as one of Spider-Man's most dangerous enemies. Because the symbiote originally bonded with Spider-Man when it first arrived on Earth, Brock and any of the other hosts have inherited more powerful versions of Spidey's superhuman abilities, making Venom the dark and deadly doppelganger of Spider-Man. Over the years, Venom has become insanely popular with readers and has also become more of an anti-hero. But the trouble he has repeatedly caused for the webhead and his insane unpredictability makes him easily one of Spider-Man's biggest problems. Number 2 is none other than Dr. Otto Octavius, most known by the name Dr. Octopus. Since his debut in Amazing Spider-Man issue 3 in 1963, Doc Ock has not only become one of Spidey's greatest villains, but one of the best and most popular villains in the Marvel Universe. With his genius level intellect combined with the powerful mechanical arms that are permanently fused to his back, Doc Ock has had numerous brutal face-offs with Spider-Man through the years, and consequently played a big role in the development of Spidey and Peter Parker as a character and hero. One of the best examples of this is when Doc Ock managed to successfully inhabit Peter Parker's mind in the Superior Spider-Man storyline, effectively taking over his body and leaving Peter's consciousness to die in his old failing body. I won't spoil how it ends, but it's awesome. If that's not enough, as the original founder of the Sinister Six and a leader of the Masters of Evil, Doc Ock has been responsible for threats that put the whole world at risk. So yeah, I'd say that's enough to earn his place on this list. Taking the top spot at number one, of course, is Norman Osborn, aka Green Goblin. This should come to no surprise to die-hard Spider-Man fans, as the impact he's had on Spider-Man and Peter is rivaled only by the death of Uncle Ben. Right off the bat, Norman being the father of Peter's once best friend Harry, created an emotional conflict when he donned the creepy green mask and glider and started blowing things up. But no story or event greater demonstrates how dramatically Green Goblin has affected Peter in Spider-Man than his role in the death of Gwen Stacy. The events of that story have haunted Peter ever since and forever altered how he approached his role as a hero. Green Goblin's presence has died down in Spider-Man's world in recent years, but I hope that Marvel finds a way to restore his character in the new Legacy event, but he's already done more than enough to secure his status as the greatest Spider-Man villain of all time. Now it's your turn. Head over to VariantComics.com to join in on the conversation and let us know who you think are the 10 best Spidey villains. We'll see you guys there. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search for you online. No Domain Extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is affordable, reliable, and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com gave Variants an awesome offer. Get 15% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Variant at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. First up, for Wednesday, October 11th, we have Ragman Issue 1. Not many people may be familiar with this character, but he's pretty amazing and wears a suit of rags made from the souls of evildoers. Next, we have Action Comics Issue 989, The Oz Effect Part 3. The startling revelation of Mr. Oz's origin has stopped the Man of Steel dead in his tracks. And finally, we have Weapon X Issue 9. Weapon H is looking for answers, but only finds more questions and a more violent path. And will Logan find Weapon H before his purpose is fulfilled? But that'll do it for another episode, guys. But remember to head over to VariantComics.com to keep up with all things Variant. Also remember, links for all our social media is in the description below. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics. <laughs>